The Husband Institute for Human Genomics was founded in 2007 um, by myself, about a dozen other faculty, and about 30 staff members that uh, came to the University of Miami to establish an institute that personified uh, excellence in genomics and genetics research. Now, the research here at the Husband Institute is valuable because we're really a unique group. We're a very multidisciplinary group where we have uh, uh, molecular biologists and clinicians and statistical experts and genetic epidemiologists and databasing and uh, all in one place. The work on autism spectrum disorders that we're doing at the Hussman Institute for Human Genomics really incorporates a multidisciplinary team so we can look at various aspects of autism and that incorporates everything from the clinical and ascertainment aspects of it where they go in and they see the families and the individuals affected with autism through to the genomic and the genetic analysis that we're doing to try to understand the genes and the genetic variants that are involved and that lead to uh, autism. As well as looking at the molecular and the cellular aspects of it and seeing how we can understand how the genetics actually impacts and what's going on at a cellular level in autism. The goals of our uh, work in Parkinson's disease is to identify the genetic risk factors that make people more susceptible to Parkinson's disease. We have a unique program here where we have collect autopsy material to study from Parkinson's patients and it's unique in that we were one of the first groups to um, enroll patients before they die and this allows us to get uh, good clinical uh, descriptions uh, so we can relate that to the findings we see in the brain later on. A lot of projects these days and, and most of uh, the work that we do involves uh, large numbers of study participants and with the large numbers uh, automation really helps uh, move things along in the process and allows us to, to move quickly through the research projects to, to find the results that we're looking for. And hopefully by look, using autopsy material as well as some of the other new techniques we've developed like inducible pluripotent stem cells, we can actually work our way back and find the initial events that lead to the disorder. That's the real goal. The MS project is one of our largest projects in terms of the specimens that we store within the biorepository. Uh, but the biorepository has been around uh, for, since the founding of the Institute and uh, samples have been collected for many, many years, over the last 25 to 30 years. Um, as part of that collection, we have about 87,000 MS study participants included in the repository uh, and have tracked over 1.2 million samples and biospecimens over the years. We're fortunate enough to be part of uh, a large international collaborative team focused on studying the genetics of MS. And over the years, we've uh, been uh, part of a number of various studies that have really uncovered the genetic underpinnings of uh, risk for MS. The study that we're doing now, that we're part of the Alzheimer's Disease Sequencing Project, which is funded by NIA in conjunction with the National Genome Research Institute at NIH, is to we'll sequence over 11,000 individuals and look at them and try to look for variants that either increase risk, not only increase risk, they're also going to look for variants or genetic factors that may protect people against getting Alzheimer's. As our population ages, um, we will have more older people, and this is the age where neurodegenerative diseases really start affecting people. My focus is on rare diseases where you have very strong genetic factors that are very predictive of a certain clinical outcome. Finding these genes provides very strong evidence to go forward to develop new therapies. What makes us a leader in the field is the really the uh, multifaceted expertise we bring we bring to the table in terms of genomics research. We have outstanding researchers in statistical analysis and molecular analysis in clinical analysis. We bring all types of expertise that you need when you put together a project in genomics or genetics research.